Happy New Year and welcome to your Spring 2009 edition of Rowan University's TechCast. I'm Eileen Stutzbeck. And I'm Carlton Hughes. This semester we have a truly exciting show packed with a lot of Rowan technology news, information, and updates. Next up is a segment we call Spotlight On, where we corner, I mean talk to faculty about how they're using technology in their curriculum. This semester Eileen talks to Bill Wolf professor of writing arts, and about how he's using Web 2.0 technologies such as social networking, social bookmarking, blogging, and wikis to teach writing. Hi, I'm here with Bill Wolf, writing professor from Communications Writing Arts. And what is your area of expertise in your research, your scholarly area of expertise? Uh, my scholarly area now is moving towards uh, Web 2.0 literacy, how Web 2.0 technologies are transforming writing. And how is technology influencing writing? We're seeing uh, as a result of uh, Web 2.0 technologies like blogs, wikis, uh, and a variety of other ones, we're seeing uh, new forms and new genres of writing emerging as a result of those. Mm -hmm. And is this enhancing students' writing skills? I think it's making it different. I think it's enhancing in, in many ways in that they're learning new genres of writing, like text messaging is a new genre of writing, blogging, microblogging, these are all new genres of writing that are different than traditional academic writing, but they can use the skills that they learn in these new genres to enhance their, their academic writing. So it's not taking away from writing, and I think it's a mistake to think that students will, and people will no longer write in more formal ways, but uh, it is asking students to think differently about the nature of language and what writing can do uh, in different mediums. And it's uh, also asking students to take into consideration the role that technology software applications play in the generation of text. I ask students to do, use a variety of different online uh, Web 2.0 technologies. Uh, the first one is blogging. Blogging is a genre of writing that is going to be, I think, continuing to be more and more important as people are putting their ideas online and as, as information continues to be exchanged, which is where the future is. So blogging is not just about writing, and a lot of students come in thinking that blogging is about like a journal. It's like an online journal where they just uh, talk about what the, what's going on in their daily lives. And while there are blogs that, that do that, we talk about this in terms of how blogging facilitates the exchange of information. So students uh, use a variety of different ways to do that. And they think about uh, what, what writing is. This, this is a blog called Unfit for Print. So they're thinking about what writing is and what, what is the nature of print and what is, what is being put online. This is primary writing, writing majors. And we can see that there are a variety of different kinds of posts. We have the traditional, just regular text posts in there. And we have ones that are more image-based. And what, the, what is nice about this and what we talk about in class is how uh, individual posts are created based on what the goals are for the individual, uh, the individual posts. So this individual post was talking about photographs. So it, it would make sense to have photos in this post versus uh, just text. And a post can have video in there and text accompanying. So we're seeing that basically students in creating these blogs are creating a multimodal uh, text where we have a variety of different modes, images, video, uh, words, all working together to facilitate the exchange of information. In wikis, for example, Wikipedia, uh, it's basically you have a collaborative writing environment where multiple people can edit the same exact space and create web web pages. Sophomore engineering clinic, it's a course that's ta are taught by seven different faculty members, I'm sorry, nine different faculty members, five from engineering and four from writing arts. And we needed a space for us to coordinate all the work that we were doing. So we created this, uh, this wiki site that would, that would host all of the course information for for the class, so all the different course projects, and all the different faculty could go and update and edit this site uh, at the same time. And so what's nice about the wiki is that this is asking students to think about how writing is collaborative. It's not just the single person sitting and designing something or sitting and writing something. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a group project, and they're all responsible for this, this space. And we've, this is our second year using the wiki, and the success, really been a great success because we can really see how teams are thinking about their, their designs. Uh, for <coughs> uh, a course called Writing Research Technology, 
we, were, we used something called social bookmarking. And through this CSS bookmarking list using a uh, site called Digo, which is a uh, social bookmarking space like Delicious, but it's much more robust and I, I enjoy using it, students can pool their knowledge. So they can go out and so here's a student who found information about CSS margin properties. And so if you are interested in learning about CSS margins, you don't have to go online to do the search. You can look within the, the bookmarking list itself. So all the students have access to this bookmarking list, and they can go through and, and find that I also use something called an RSS reader. And what this is, it's a site that allows you to subscribe to different blogs or news sources. And instead of having to go back out and find them every time, every time you go to your, your reader, the latest information is sent to you. We've got different profiles and videos, all you know things that they are interested in and make up their make up their identity. But it's all located in one area, so they no longer have to go and spend hours saying, "Well, what was going on in this blog, or what's going on in this blog, or what's going on in this space?" It's all brought to them, and then if they want to learn more about it, they'll just click on on that particular that particular link. Uh, so these are some of the, the primary uh, technologies that I use in most of my classes. We, most of the classes do use blogging. Uh, most of them use a NetVibes or an RSS reader or a social bookmarking site in, one, in, in, one, in some way. Our video is now being thought of in, in our field as a form of writing. Uh, this semester in my writing research technology course, uh, each student is going to get uh, a little flip video camera, and they are going to be going and creating oral history compositions. They're going to compose a, a video oral history that where they're mashing up sound, the video, still images, other video footage, and putting that together to create a seamless composition. We're going to have our own online uh, YouTube community where they're going to be posting their drafts online. They're going to be responding to each other through video online, and it's going to be open to the, the whole world community to actually look at them and, and see them as they're proposing them. So it's expanding that process once again. Well, that's it for this episode of Rowan University's TechCast. We'll see you in the summer. I'm Carlton Hughes. And I'm Eileen Stutzbeck. Have a great semester. <laughs>